Do you have any guns? Do you have any guns, Grandpa? No. Do you ever have a gun? No. Oh, probably a BB gun when I was a kid. I don't keep a gun here. Audrey, we did have quite a discussion here about what to do if a stranger comes to the door. And this discussion ranged from having an AK-47 when you enter the door all the way down to the final solution, which was have, uh, uh, of course, tasering. Get that, but the final solution was have wasp spray. A can of wasp spray by the door if you wish. Well, I would just look out the side window and if I didn't recognize him, I wouldn't say anything. Well, you wouldn't even answer the door? I've done that before. Can we see, I, do, I can do that. I can answer the door because I don't live in Detroit. I don't live in Detroit either. Close enough. I've done that before, though. I've People have knocked on my door, on our door, or whatever, and I've looked out and mm -hmm. didn't recognize them, so I just let them knock and then they leave. I had a, a, <laughs> a tree, tree guy come to my door and said, I said, uh, you know, I want to have your tree trim. Well, I have regular people do it when I want it. The landscaping people. Yeah. But he says, uh, your tree needs, you want to have your tree trim. I said, no, thank you. He said, well, it needs it. I said, well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> What you got to be careful of is people well, this, coming to your front door and then there's someone coming into your back door if it's open and they'll come in and they'll steal stuff. That's well, Kathy came up with a solution she backed off on. Uh, don't answer the door. Don't even let them know you're there. Sometimes they'll, if there's no answer on the door, they'll, they'll break in. They'll break in. 